So here are the highlights from the opening race of the Allied Petroleum TCR Championship here at Highlands Motorsport Park. We saw Hayden Pennon pull off early on with a blow and axle, but racing got underway. Jaden Ransom was left by himself on the front row of the grid, and ultimately he got away cleanly and led the start of the race. And that signature Holmes car proved to be fast and speedy in the trying conditions as we saw those guys go three wide. I think that was Murph getting shuffled out wide there as they headed into the back part of the circuit. And soon though, Gene Rowlandson moved up onto Ransley, but Paul Radisic was the big mover. He came from last on the grid up into third and fourth as Jordan Nichols had a little bit of a moment just in the back of the shot there. But Ransley continued to lead the way and continued to build a lead in the trying conditions at Highlands Motorsport Park. Half the track was damp, half the track was dry. And which tyre choice do you go on? Well, it was anyone's choice. A couple gambled, uh, like Murphy, but ultimately didn't pay dividends. Early on the race, though, Murphy was able to move up into second, and he did eventually grab the lead off Ransley, who encountered some of his own dramas. This was a great racing, side-by-side -side action as they hit down the front straight into turn one. Murphy there taking the lead early on in the race. The Paul Radisson's the rat, he's still sitting in third. Gene Rowlandson, though, he kind of got shuffled down a wee bit. And so too did some of his other Audis, Chris Vandendrift and Lockheed Fitzgerald Symes as well. But Murph, he quickly got into lead and he quickly started to break away. See Jordan Mickles having another moment there. Just didn't quite get the tyre pressures right. Put a little bit too much pressure on himself and looped it a couple of times. But here's the battle now for the lead. Chris Vandendrift getting up behind Greg Murphy. Having to deal with a little bit of lap traffic from Super Production, but didn't hold them up too much. They were able to get through reasonably cleanly. But it closed the gap up a lot. And then we saw Jaden Ransley unfortunately having a brake failure and he had to pull off. And that would end his day or his race early. And out in front, Vandrift was putting the pressure on Murph for the lead of the race. And we saw a great move eventually for the lead. About halfway through, Murph was taking the rear of that Audi nice and wide. But ultimately, it wouldn't work out as the tyre choice for the four-time Bathurst champ let him down as the track dried out. And there it is, Vandrift got into the lead. And he just set about pulling away for the remaining half of the race and he managed to eke out a 22 second lead come the drop of the chequered flag and Murph would have struggles of his own as he came under fire from that blue and black high on die of Gene Rowlandson who's again trying to get past Lockheed Fitzgerald Symes and then he got by Paul Radisic for third place at the time but here was Rollinson now, he'd been unleashed and was right on the back of Murph trying to get into that second spot. He had a couple of goes at it, but it took until the last lap of the race for him to get the move done. There he is again, showing the nose, just trying to get the move done, just letting Murphy know that he's there and he means business. Great racing here in the Allied Petroleum TCR Championship. And Jordan Mickles there with another moment, managed to gather it up, if in doubt, power out in these front wheel drive machines. And look at that gap out in front there. Vandendrift, daylight to the cars behind. A little lock up, but hey, didn't matter. And that's the battle for second place. Greg Murphy and Gene Rollinson disappearing into the into the trees and then emerging again with Rollinson in second place. So taking that spot on the final lap. But Chris Vanderdrift, fear the drift because he's fast and he dominated proceedings in the opening Allied Petroleum TCR New Zealand Championship race. A great start to his campaign here at Highlands and the winner takes all round for the New Zealand Touring Car Championship. It would be Gene Rollinson who managed to grab that spot for second, Murphy in third, and Lockie Fitzgerald Symes gave it his all to try and overtake Murph, but it was Chris Vandendrift who took the race win.